Internet Tower Podcast with I, your host, Donald Wanda, and... Uh, uh, Catface Killer, old boy. Killer, killer. Killer. What's up, son? What's up, what's up? We're going to do another anime manga discussion. And this yeah. time, we're going to talk about... An... Boy, when you talk about a split audience, people have held this title as one of the best anime mangas of all time and one of the worst. One of the worst, really? Yeah. One of the worst I mean, like, I understand you don't like it, but one of the worst, that's, there's a lot of shit out there. We'll get into it. So we're talking about Mariah Nikki, aka Future Diary, and um, even when I did this list that is gone in the ether again, we did the, t- the list of um, must see anime and manga, this manga was in people's top list as well, and you read the manga, correct? That is correct, sir. You co- completed the manga? Completed it. I completed the anime, and I actually had to read the manga for an alternate ending. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. The anime had a different ending? <laughs> yeah, it did, it did. That, um, oh, right. I think, yeah, I'll, I'll get, what happened was, the anime didn't end, and then it, they had to read the manga, and then they released the ending in another separate anime OVA. Why? I don't know. What the, f- what, what the fuck? It, ha- it happens every once in a while. It happens every once in a while, yeah. Yeah, I don't, mm. they did release it later, the actual ending, there's another anime they did it for, I can't remember, but, Catface, you are the best at the synopsis, so tell us what is the, the synopsis for, what's the story that you choose to uh, Imagine, if you will, a world where every main character is a high school student. Oh my god. <laughs> so, you got, and then every um, supporting, main supporting character is also a high school student. Don't mind right now. So you have, you have boy A and boy girl, and girl um girl A, high school students, and this is all about um they have cell phones. Uh, I guess they either keep the a diary in or some witch. I guess they do this in Japan because uh, this was weird to me. Yeah, he te- he he keeps uh, he keeps a diary in his phone basically. Yeah, and he got this weird like message or something about through his diary, he got entered into like this game or this contest or competition yeah. something where people are trying to kill each other god basically god in this anime sets up a competition he gives people these phones well some people already have phones or he gives people these phones and he gives each phone a power and they're in a tournament to kill each other basically and whoever is left standing is going to be the new god yeah and it's um it's interesting because like you said they're, they're different powers like i think his predicts the future and then girl a's tells what happened i think girl a is fu- is can tell his future he put oh, future his future general okay and then she can tell his future only his and um that's kind of weird but it's explained later on um with a plot twist which i actually i thought was a good plot twist mm. my problem mirai nikki let me come out and say it i think it's pretty middle of the road solid b manga it's good um just it's not that mm, I mean, it's like a what, psychological mystery thriller. Mystery's not that big, but the psycho- psychology and the thriller, pretty good. I just want to say there's a big plot twist in it that deals with a touchy subject, and I think they actually went to the well one too many times with it, but when they first tell you, boom, this is why this girl is that way, yeah. it's like, holy shit, that was good. And then later on, they, they go to that... Uh, subject a little too much and you didn't even watch the anime what i, I want to what i want to say oh boy i think this is one of them times where the anime adaptation the anime adaptation is faithful because i checked this i actually skimmed through the manga to make sure for some reason in the anime form it just doesn't translate well this is one of them shows that people have claimed has been like a clone of death note and cold Geass, where it's another people are giving powers to conquer the world something and i do feel like it's more copying death note in with its premise but it is very unique taking all these people against each other and their powers are unique but in the anime man it gets really ridiculous and some of the plot i might get into a bit of spoilers here people i warn you that i'm one of the people that as the anime went on it it it, it tended to be interesting and intriguing to downright ridiculous and fucking clown shoes at the end of the day whoa really yeah that like it really some of the plot some of the plot lines are so ludicrous so ridiculous i mean some of the characters are so despicable for no reason in particular the main character's father 
is one of the most ludicrous. You might not remember this catfish. I remind you, I'm, I will get into spoilers, but it just, it just gets. It's one of those shows that just sometimes the story is just bad for bad sake. It doesn't even feel organic or like it's creative. It's just, and as Catface said, the twist at first is interesting. Then it moves over itself about three fucking times. Yeah, it goes way too much. One time, fantastic. Twice, maybe I could let that go, but it goes too many times. Because another twist of this show is, I think another draw that draw people in is this girl in the anime is obsessed with the main character. She is in this crazy love with this character to the point where she will kill people for him. And he what's, does, it, what's it called? Uh, Yandare? Yeah, Yandare. The opposite. Well, not the opposite. Sandare. It's just someone who loves you to a, a murderous extent. And she will want you all to herself to the point where she'll even fucking kill you at the end of the day, which makes no fucking sense. She'll even kill herself, dude. She won't even kill her fucking self. You think I'm joking? You watch that shit. She will kill the fuck out of herself to get this guy. Yeah, and that was the. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw like one of the main uh, posters for this show, is this girl having this really weird, rape facey, obsessive look on her face, and she really does love this guy. And when you find out the twist, the twist is actually compelling, sad, and interesting. But by the end, it folds in on itself like three fucking times. And the very end is. You know, I'm a, uh, yeah, that the ending especially for me dropped it quite a bit in the rating. But there's things in the uh, there's other things in the anime that are ridiculous. I mean, one of my pals that I've worked with, everybody hates the anime stuff. He did a breakdown. Of it. <laughs> everybody hates him, but he has a lot of followers. Oh yeah, come on, that's how life is, you know. But he broke down this anime and, and why it's ridiculous. And it is ridiculous. Even the antagonists, the people, the other people that have the phones, the other contestants, some of them are just ridiculous. This is little girl who's is it a little girl or a little boy like a kid a complete maniacal killer for no fucking reason most of the villains are completely maniacal most the, of the villains are very two dimensional one dimensional <laughs> one dimensional <laughs> two dimensional at the, at the blink of a hat they, at your first they're one thing and then this is one girl who just keeps on attacking this guy at school to the very end and he is just crazy but my main one of the main things that is blew my mind is this guy's dad he doesn't even play a big part in the show yeah i don't remember his dad at all we'll talk about this after the show but the main character's dad is a reprehensible character he's actually one of the most horrible anime characters i've seen in anime the things he's done to his son and his mum, and the way he acts in the show and another thing is the main character is a fucking wimp I, I do remember him being a wimp, but I mean, he has some psycho bitch doing all the killing for him, so he can be a wimp. Yeah, and it's, you know, he never ever mans up until the very, 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 very end where the tri the triple fold twist. So at the end of the day, guys, I'm probably not doing the best job on selling you on this. I would say, this is one of those times I say read the manga, because the anime to me is ridiculous. It's clown shoes ridiculous. The ending yeah, I'm really surprised. I mean, clown shoes is bad. It's, it, no, it gets to a point where it's a fucking joke. And the ending is the ice on the cake. It gets bad right towards the end where everything's collapsing. The fucking whole world's collapsing. Spoiler. And then at the very end, we get time resets, time loops. And the, and the reveal for this girl, which I'm not going to spoil, goes from interesting to convoluted to just ridiculous. And they, like I said, the anime didn't, when the anime ended, they didn't show you the last episode. So then I had to read the manga, and then they did the last episode. I forgot, there's a special name for the last episode, which is an OVA. And they did the last episode with, spoiler, some ridiculously unbelievable happy ending anyway. But I was just like, really? So, my Nikki, for me, I'm going to have to give it a clown shoes, man. It really went from being very intriguing, very good, and it just kept on going lower, lower, get lower, get lower, get lower, boom! Complete clown shoes. Wow. I can't believe that. I mean, because it's pretty okay as a manga. Yeah, well, you know what? I might show you that clip of the breakdown and you'll see all the points you might remember. Oh, actually, if I. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, shit, maybe, yeah. But honestly. It's been a while. But honestly, every every review I've read of the manga, I've heard they say, the, for some reason, the manga adaptation is not better. And the reason why I say that this can happen sometimes is because I felt that way with Parasite. When I reviewed Parasite, I read the manga and I watched the anime and it was the same material. But the way they executed in the anime made it so bad. Like it dropped three 
technology is down the way they execute the anime. So, I don't know how, but I'm only telling you guys my experience that this was one of those shows. I didn't read the manga that for me and for everyone else says got lost in the source and it's not a good anime translation. But the manga almost unanimously has high ratings as one of yeah, the. Yeah, I mean, everybody I've recommended the manga to has liked it. Yeah, I know. That's why uh, that's why I wanted, to, I wanted to use recording with you because this is one of them times where people hate the anime and love the manga, most for the most part. I don't I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. That's I wanted to catch you by surprise. That's why I didn't. Prep. And then you said you were gonna surprise me. I'm pretty fucking surprised. Yeah, that's why. That's why I didn't want to prep you guys. So, guys, we'll you know we'll leave it on this note. I think it's a good note to leave it on because you know what? This is one of them times I want to hear from you guys. So. Let us know what you thought, my man. Nikki, did you give the cat face more? Did you give me more? What was your experience with the show? Go down to that comment section and type that shit out because we want to know. And uh, you can always tell the cat face why you think he's talking absolute nonsense and not remembering the manga, right? At his Twitter handle, which is the underscore old boy. And um, be sure to post like cat videos and pictures and stuff too. Hashtag cat face killer. Yeah, sure, that works too. I'll start my own hashtag. <laughs> And you can also get me at underscore, no, at kind of time, not underscore. Because you, I'm always trying to underscore my brain. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you like the videos, if you like the content, we do appreciate it. And also, the like button, because then we know you like what we do. So, guys, we'll leave you hanging there, but we want this is one of those times where we want to actually hear from you. And if you want to hear if you had more of the cat faces opinion or more of my experience. So, let us know in the comments below. And on that note, without me repeating myself a hundred times, I'm going to let the cat face see us out by saying... Be sure to leave a lot of criticism for Don Wander. You keep saying that. You keep oh, saying so that. I know you love the criticism, dude. That's why you you ask them to comment on their stuff. It's not because you want to hear what they're saying. You want the criticism. You're <laughs> you're a fucking masochist. I am not that anime stop. I actually like constructive back and forth. I just don't want to hear people hating on my opinion. Some people might agree with me, and that's what I want to know. But guys. Let's leave it there. I gave you a chance to say goodbye, and instead you tried to drag on the conversation. So screw you, Catface. We're out, and I'm a. This kill recording you. wasn't even that long, dude. Till the next one, guys. Peace. <laughs> Till the next one. Out.